So is this the time that banks release their staff? I went to see a sick friend. She needed my help. Interesting. So you left this house at, uh, what, 6 a.m.? You're just returning by this time, and um, you went to see a friend. With what, your, you turned off your phone? Yes, as a matter of fact, I did. Because I know the next thing you will do is to call me and start to embarrass me. And I don't want all of that. Okay. But well, for the record, Jessica, there cannot be two captains on a ship. One needs to bow for the other, else the ship will capsize. Please, please, Eric, please. Enough with all this blabbing. Really? Blabbing? Okay. Fine. No problem. At least I know that uh, if our son was alive, he would not be returning by this time. Don't you freaking dare bring the past to this, okay? Don't you dare it! Oh, really? But it's true now, isn't it? Didn't you kill our son just so you can have the freedom to do whatever the hell it is you want to do? Eric, you know that I did not intentionally harm our child. It was a mistake. And it can happen to anyone. Careless mother. Your food is ready. Our son was still alive. You wouldn't serve him this rubbish. Especially not at this time. Next time you try this nonsense with me, I'll break your head.
Where are you going? Even a blind man could tell that I am off to work. With our home looking like this? Huh? Wow. I'm glad you said our home. Which means anyone could actually do the cleaning. Meanwhile, I've already done some necessary chores around the house. Besides, you did this. So you clean it. Wait, wait, hold on. If you dare hit me, I swear I'm going to give it back to you double. Oh, so you have the, you have the guts to talk to me like this, Abby? If you had laid hands on me, you'd be able to answer that question. Simple understanding, intolerance, can quench the fire of strife and prejudice. How dare you question where I'm coming from? If you cannot tell me exactly where you're coming from. Jessica, I am your husband and the head of this family, okay? The fact that you shoulder more of the responsibilities doesn't make you superior in any way. Wow, I see. Superior officer. So because you are a man, right? I should box your <laughs> Jessica, you're trying me. Eric. You are trying me. Do your worst. You are trying me. Do your worst. Do your worst. Bro, I think you need to seriously consider adoption. I mean, you can't continue to waste all these years now, eh? Adoption is not an option. Okay, so what do you want to do? What do you want to do? You can't continue with this, these lies and deception. For how long can you carry it on? Eh? How long are you going to bribe the hospital to? Falsify the results of your checkups. But well, that's not your business. You should focus on your family. Stop fighting your wife. <sighs> Sorry. Don't be angry. I was just, you know, giving you what advice I can. Advice? You call this one advice? Something that will break my home. That's what you call advice. Yeah. Well done. No best, no. I'm your friend now. I'm your guy. I just make I just tell you now. No best. <sighs> Wow. Congratulations. Mm hmm I know. I'm very happy for you too. Yes. Oh, thank you. Okay, take care and my love to your baby. Bye. You are not the giver of children. Every child comes from above. Our time will come. When? When is this time? We've been married for years. I know. But there are so many other people facing the same thing we are facing. Must we be like them? There are many other people having kids as well. Why can't I be among them? We need to have faith. <sighs> okay? I've been having this faith. I've been having faith for years. Every day. I congratulate people having babies. 
people get married and in less than a year they are having a baby. What am I doing wrong? Our time will come. <laughs> okay? to be like this. My earring, yes, my, my, my earring fell, so I was trying to pick it up. Have you seen it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, he, he came back really fast. Yeah, uh, just famished. Oh, sure. I'll, I'm going to go get your food. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? No, I'm I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm <laughs> I'm very okay. Okay, if you say so. Mm. Um. Well, I just wanted to let you know I was in the kitchen in case you needed me. Okay. You broke my laptop. The, the one thing where I work on and make the money that I, I, I use. Yes, I did. Because you laid your filthy hands on me. So it's payback. Payback. Payback and, and also you, you said to 
destroy such an important thing? Really? Well, next time you will learn not to lay your filthy hands on your wife ever again. seeing it now. No, you're seeing it. When I talk to Steve, I'm talking too much. You're seeing it. All of this because we just had a small fight. <clears throat> but I've always told you, every woman has their breaking point. And I think she has reached hers. Wait. <laughs> what, what are you saying? Are you, are you trying to defend her? Are you trying to make excuses for her? None of the above. None. For a woman who has always respected her husband to wake up one day and start rubbing shoulders with him, doing everything to frustrate him, something is wrong. She has gotten to that point. And I thought you were on my side. I thought you understood the reason why I had to get you know, physical with her. I understand. Bro, I understand you. Look. Let it go. Let it go. No woman in her right senses will intentionally kill her child. Or should I say my wife is the cause? What? No. No, 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 no. Your wife is not the cause. Not at all. Jessica and her carelessness. That's the cause. Jessica is so careless. Just calm down, bro. Calm down. Yeah. All right, I'll have you sorted out. All right then, bye. Hello, Ma. Ma, I, I, I don't know. Um, Ma, we had a little misunderstanding earlier and he left the house and I have not seen him since. So these are things, it happens, you should go. I understand what you're saying, but my point is, my point still stands, which is that. It's Jessica. You should pick, pick it. I should? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let her. Just pick. Hey, Jesse. Hey, BC. Um, good evening. Please, is my husband at your place? Your husband? Ma, um, uh, 
No, no, no. Did, did something happen? No. He left the house a while ago and he's not been back since. Why? Did you, did you guys have a fight? Yes. Oh my goodness. Really, Jessica? I thought we spoke about this. I told you to always walk away. Must you fight back? Look, I'm sorry, okay? So where has that led you? I mean, what are you going to do? Because I have no idea where your husband is. You have to go look for him wherever he is. Hello? BC, hello? Thank you for not telling her that I'm here. Really? Go. So what's the plan? How do you know? What is the plan? Because you, you can't stay here. You need to go home. Look, it's getting late. Go home to what? That beast. Oh, please. Now she's a beast. No, 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 no. She's now a beast. But you've forgotten the fact she's the beast you created. Please. Bro, you need to go home. It doesn't matter what happens. It's getting late. Go back to your wife. It's getting late. Are you chasing me? Je Jesse, I'm not. I, I, I won't do that. You are my friend. Reason I will not lie to you, okay? I'm a married man. So I won't have you stay here without going home to solve your problem. Go home to your wife, no matter what it is. You guys sort it out. No, thank you for everything, your concern. I'll leave when I'm ready. I, I'm, I still think you should go. Uh, who is it? It's Jessica. Jessica? Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, come in. Jessica. <laughs> Hey! Hi, uh, Jesse. What? Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing here by this time of the day? Look, there is a problem. I can't find my husband. He's not been home. And I can't even reach him. So I don't know if you have talked to him. Um... Y yes, we, we spoke. We spoke, but that was in the afternoon. I, I, I've not seen him. He, he, he's not here. Um... Your your husband is he's here. Not, he's not. Here. He's here, baby. He's here. Um. Yes, he is. Hold on. Wait. You mean he has been here all this while, even when I called and you lied to me about it? I'm sorry. No, I... he's 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 not here. He's here. Why do you care so much? Oh, he's here. <clears throat> Why do you care so much? My mother called, right? Guys, uh, thank you for accommodating me. I'll see you later. Right. Just, Jessica. Really? You texted her? I mean, she was worried. I couldn't just leave her in that mood. Sorry. <laughs> um, I said I'm sorry.
question. I think this is better. This. <laughs> yep. Ooh, look at that. Mm. Oh, fucking this. Yes. Yeah, that's what work. <laughs> it's gonna like this. Baby. What's wrong? What is it, baby? Why do you look so worried? My love, what is it? Can you ever forgive me? Forgive you? She didn't offend me. A year before we got married, I was I was diagnosed of orchitis. Um, okay, and what is that? Babe, you, you can tell me. Okay, this is it's an inflammation of the testicles. It could be one, it could could be both of them. It's caused by a moth's virus. It could be caused by bacteria or, or infections. Okay. My doctor said mine was caused by by a bacterial infection. I'm sorry, I still I still don't understand. Please. Babe. Babe, tell me, I don't mind. Okay, this is one of it's one of the many causes of Of infertility, man. I should have told you a long time ago, and I'm sorry. I'm the cause of our childlessness. I don't want to lose you. Hi. I don't want to lose you then. I, I, I don't want to lose you now. I, I, I'm so sorry. I was really selfish. Jones! Is it that all the doctors we visited confirmed you were medically fine? Why did they not say it? Because I know them. Uh -huh. So I pay them to give us fake results. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop me. 
Jesus. You, you finished me. You have finished me. Oh, I can't believe this. You did this to me. Oh, I can't believe this. What? I'm living with a con. All she knows how to do is eat, 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 and smash anything called food. That's where they will see you line up. But if it's to get pregnant and have a child to replace the one that you murdered, no. I can't do that one. Well, that is because I don't want a useless father for my child. Look, look at who's talking. <laughs> a notorious murderer like you. <laughs> The last time I checked, your voice sounded like an empty tin. I suggest you go for some vocal surgery. You're sorry. <laughs> You're sorry. What? What are you sorry for? No, I. I need to understand. Please. I'm asking a question. What are you sorry for? Are you sorry for conning me? What? <laughs> Watching me go through the pains of wanting to have a child. Oh, are you sorry for taking me to different doctors whom you connived with to prey on my innocence? What are you sorry for? Please forgive me. Oh my goodness. Shut up! Please. I'm trying. I'm really trying to hold it together. Don't make me explode. He knew it. He knew it all this while that you could not father a child. Yet, you couldn't allow us to adopt at least, at least to ease me. Dude. You took me to different doctors. Are you were spending money so they can deceive me? Because you assumed, yeah, even if she finds out, I will just say I'm sorry and that will be about it. Do you know how much I'm hurting? Forgive me, please. I'm begging you. Okay. Forgiveness is a luxury you don't deserve. Your heart is cold. 
you are, you are wicked. You're a terrible person. I, I don't know. I don't know how I've been living with a person like you. You just did this to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. You won. <sighs> We did thing. Sometimes the eyes can be the seed for prove the things you hear before you ask. There is more to this life than meets the eye. If it is love, then we must trust each other. Simple understanding, intolerance can quench the fire of strife and prejudice.
Welcome, honey. Listen, we can't be fighting all the time. Okay, we need to find a way to live with ourselves peacefully. Are you the one talking? <laughs> yes, dear, I'm the one talking. Surely, this cannot be it. Huh? We have to do better as a couple. We need to find ways to live in peace with each other. Is there something you're not telling me? Something like what? There's nothing. Wait. Did you win the lottery or something? No, I didn't. I'm just happy that I have you in my life. <laughs> you're not serious. I am here to know your plans. I have absolutely no plans. Only to cater to my wife. So, would you like me to bathe you? Are you for real? Absolutely real. <laughs> Après vous, <laughs> madame. Really good. Oh, you see? It's your favorite and I made it for you. Hmm? Mm. Mm -hmm. I hope you did not bring another woman to cook for you in my absence. How bad, Jessica? How now? Mm? I believe trusting a man. You never know with these things. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Eric, stop it. Will you come? Wait. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> so this is the reason for your sudden change, right? Honey, come on, we need to we need to start making babies again. Well, I am not ready. You will have to wait until God touches my heart again. Jessica.
I have to ask, Jessica, why are you so hell-bent on not having children anymore? The last thing I will allow you to do is to get me pregnant. Please, babe, I, I, are you trying to leave me? This marriage is over. Bro, listen. You need to go out there. Eh? And just pocket the way you are feeling and keep it on side. Go out there. Go and look for that wonderful woman. Resolve whatever issues you people have and bring her back home. But listen, are you listening to me? Bring her back home because BC is a special woman. She's one of a kind. You are fortunate to have a woman like that. Look at me now. Look at my own story. Me and Jessica. That one that is rude, reckless, very disrespectful, and you know. That's the case. Besides, this matter, see, I'll be your guy, I will tell you true. I will tell you the honest truth. You are the one to blame for all of this. Yes. Baba, you should have told her a long time ago. You're supposed to tell her scenes that you can't have, you can't give her a child. You shouldn't have just waited till now to tell her. After she has gone through all of this insult, embarrassment, humiliations, the weight of expectations from her family, from the public. <sighs> of course she'll be hurt. Of course her heart will break. There is more. To this life that meets the eye okay. If it is love Then we must trust each other Simple understanding Intolerance Can quench the fire Of strife and prejudice Oh No, we just need to fight together And then we will win together, you and I Hello, sir Good evening, sir You are doing all right, sir So everything is not okay. Everything is not okay at all. Your daughter has become so rude and so disrespectful. I honestly don't know how she was raised with all due respect, sir. Also, suddenly she, she, she's so averse to the idea of having children. She doesn't want us to have kids again. I, I don't know what is going on there.
Hello, Dad. Hold on, I don't understand. What did he tell you? So he actually told you all these? <laughs> Fine. It is good that he now wants to have a child. But I swear it, he is not going to have it. Not yet. Oh yes, I know that. I know that I'll also be delaying myself. So let us all suffer it. After all, I was once a mom. Daddy, daddy, please. Can we talk some other time? It's kind of late, please. Before you judge me, here is my story. The Eric you all see is a tormentor and abuser. He made me toxic. And that was after the death of our only child, whom he accused me of killing. On your watch, useless woman. You will never look peace in this house. Hmm. I'm not a dog. I'm a full grown man. Next time, don't feed me food for a dog. I don't. Eh? The, the one that we already had, where is he? We, we've lost him. So what's this all about?
Eric. What are you doing with condoms? What kind of question is that? What could a married man be doing with condoms in his pocket? Is it you? What you are looking for? And that thing you are looking for, Jessica. Don't worry. You will still find it. Where are you going? Better go upstairs and undress. You're not going anywhere. Why? Well, because I say so. Wait, I, I don't understand. Eric, you can't just wake up one morning and decide that I will not go to work. As a matter of fact, I can. Because I'm the head of this house. Besides, I don't want you going to that your, your year bank job that keeps you out and makes you come back home very late every night. I don't want it. Fine. If you wanted me to stop working, you should have discussed it with me. So I can send a resignation letter before management. Things are not done this way. Oh, so, so, so you think this is a negotiation of some sort? <laughs> Come on, go, let me see you. What? Hello, BC. Yeah, hi. No, 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 I'm not coming to work today. Yeah, I'm feeling feverish. Yeah, thank you. All right, okay. Take care. All right, bye. Please let me resume work. Okay, let's assume that I was sick today, like I told the office. Do you know if I don't work, you'll not be able to take care of the entire of the financial burdens by yourself. And you know that I've been taking care of most of the bills in the house and if I wasn't working, you know, it wouldn't have been possible for us to take care of everything here at home. Please, just, just, just let me go back to work, please. 
Mary, please. I'll think about it. Okay. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You see, that has been my journey so far. That was where my toxicity and dishonor for him started. And ever since then, we have been like two captains in a boat, where one must submit to the other, or we both sink. And I'm sure it will not end yet until he stops being aggressive towards me. And despite my mistake, he still holds it against me. <sighs> and as for me taking in, it all lies on his attitude towards me. Because there is no way I will be intimate with a man who has no regard or respect for me. If it is love, then we must trust each other. Simple understanding, intolerance can quench the fire of strife and prejudice. Oh.
I, I, I am so ashamed of myself. I'm so, I'm so sorry, God. You left and my world was shattered. Don't leave me again, please. You, you can sh shout for me, beat me, hit me, do anything, but please don't leave me. You do, I will die. I will die. I will die. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Baby. You hurt me a lot. A lot. But these past few weeks have taught me that I can't live without you. I miss you. I'm so sorry. Bye. I still love you so much and I'm going to be with you through good and bad times I'm not leaving you That's okay <laughs> Come here. Come here. 
<laughs> Wait. What's on your mind? Love making. So you still, what, crave me after abusing me all this while? Well, jokes on you, because I was only pranking you. Is wrong with you for real I do not understand you Jones what do you not understand and I was pretty much clear no you were not you were not clear because I what do you even mean you were clear do you think it makes any sense the fact that you continue to object us adopting a child of our own knowing full well that that is our only solution to raising a child of our own you see, you see. I will not raise another man's child in my house. It is not happening. For God's sake, this is against my tradition. Oh my goodness, there we go again. Tradition, tradition, tradition. Where is this almighty tradition of yours now that we need kids of our own? No, 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 I need you to make it make sense because I do not understand why you want to own a tradition that does not guarantee us having a child of our own. No! This is supposed to sit down in this house with her husband as the most loyal wife of the year who says yes to everything and has to sit down with you about babies falling from heaven. No, 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 that's what you're telling me to do. I should not have kids of my own because of your blood for second tradition. <sighs> with my lips. No adoption. And we're done with this conversation. We are not done with this conversation. We will never be done with it as a matter of fact. I am going to have my own kids. I will have my own kids, be it by adoption or whatever. I will have my own kids. The way your mother gave birth to you, she raised you. I will raise my own kids the way my mom raised me. Do you understand? We are not done with this conversation. What is that? It's bad enough I have to put up with you. It's not my fault. I'm saying we should adopt. You're telling me about your tradition. Is it not going to lose my mind? Really? You're going nowhere. Are you done shouting? Call it whatever you like. <laughs> You've got a nice place. You've changed? This cushion has changed. Just a little bit. How many years did you go? Many, many years ago. Yes, Whoa! Damn! Uh, man, I must confess. It's good to have you back. Yeah, it's good to be home too. <laughs> Let me even eat natural food. I, know. I mean, I mean. Yeah, talking about food, you have to wait for my wife to come back. She went to see a friend close by. She just delivered. Oh, delivered? Yeah. Wow. So, how is she coping? <sighs> to 
to be honest. It's been hell. Hmm. Hell, bro. You know this issue of not having a child? Yeah. I get it. I get it. She keeps insisting on us adopting a baby. And you know how that goes against our tradition. Yeah. I get the I get the I get the tradition parts. So, what are you gonna do now? Like, you have a plan? Is there something you wanna do? The reason I wanted you to come back so that we discuss about it in person. I have something in mind. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I'm here now. So, what's your plan? I need a spam donor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bro. I'm <laughs> all right. I'm not laughing, but okay. I'm laughing actually, but no, not laughing at you. But it's what do you want spam for? Like, <laughs> what do you want to do with spam? IUI. I need this spam for IUI, bro. I need you to donate your spam for my wife so she can get pregnant. <sighs> But why, why do I have to donate my sperm when I can actually do the actual thing and get her pregnant for you? It's still going to be her blood, right? Yeah, like, I could do the real thing and it's your baby. You're joking, right? No! I'm actually being serious. Like, Look, I'm not going to invest my emotion in all of that. I'm just going to go in, go out, and have your baby, and it's safer. <laughs> For love. No. And let me take it to one of all those your jokes. No. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Like, you know, our people, you talked about tradition, right? Our people say that. Use goat, tie rope, or use rope, tie goat. They are one and the same. <laughs> what, what's you're, the difference? You're telling me you want to actually sleep with my wife. Like, you want to sleep with her to get her pregnant. That's what you're saying? Um, it's not really how you put it. Like, it's, it's, it's gross the way you put it. But I don't mean it in that sense. What I want to say is, I'm just going to do garbage in, garbage out, and instead of donating, I mean, it, it could get complicated. I am one, just one second to take you back to the airport. Nah. But let me, let me take you that it's one of those objects. It's not serious, bro. Like, like, say no, no more words. Airport straight. Bro, I said I'm not going to put everything in, just, it's the same, right? Bro, your wife isn't coming in anytime early. I'm getting hungry. Oh man. Thanks, thanks, thanks. What is it? Mmm. Tastes really nice. What's this? Uh, right. Whoa! 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 Oh. Hi! Hello! Come, 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 come. Of course. Damn! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Give it to me! Damn! Oh, your wife is freaking hot! Damn! Listen! Listen! Thank you! Whoa! Baby, you don't know me! I'm his brother! His younger brother! He has to change his pictures because he didn't do justice to the picture he sent to me! Come on, bro! No, you have to change your picture. You know, you have to change your phone. That picture does not do justice to this lady. Come on! Babe. Damn! Yeah, yeah. Damn! Yeah, so Come on, give it to me! Give it to me! Oh my, 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 my. Look, I'm sure God created you on a Sunday morning. <laughs> Thank because you. Because that's why you're looking like an angel. For real? Are you sure you didn't leave heaven? 
Come on! Damn! Damn! You're really vibrant. I am. I am. He won't say that. Babe, you because didn't... He wouldn't tell you when we were little. I can't believe that. <laughs> Damn, bro! This is smashingly beautiful woman. Come on, you look so hot. Thank you. Huh? We're sure. Yeah, I'm Please, sure. No, 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 I'm sure. Go, go. Your food is going to look as delicious as you are. <laughs> Thank you. Damn! Baby. Come on. I'll be right back, okay? Yeah, please. please. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You married a beautiful woman. She's so hot. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. What are you not saying? Whoa. Hey. <laughs> are you sure? Because I'm going to teach you how... Oh, boy! Damn! Damn! <laughs> damn! Look who we have here! Hey! Come, 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 come. <laughs> The meal was delicious! For real? I don't know you cook so good! Oh, thank you! Oh, wow, wow, wow! You must be overfeeding my brother because that's why. I mean, this food I ate, so delicious! Oh, thank you! <laughs> yeah! I actually, um... You see, my mom is a chef, so I learned a lot from her and so Ooh, did my wow. sisters. I'm not surprised one bit. Really? You see, that is why I always say that African dishes is the best! I agree! Yeah! Absolutely! <laughs> great, great, great! So tell me, mm -hmm. how is Europe generally? Uh, well, Europe is CC. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, CC? Cold and cold. Oh, I see! <laughs> yeah, that was abbreviated. Yeah, ah, I see. you know, but... I'm so sorry for not coming for uh, your wedding, you know. Mm. I was so tied up with a lot of things. Mm. I mean, I could have come, but my brother was not willing to contribute. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I mm. mean, you don't have to keep apologizing. Okay. You supported, and that was fine, though. No? Yeah. Thank you. I would have loved to be there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, pretty wise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you playing or not? Hey, bro. Let me collect some good luck. Come on here. Come on. Damn. Baby. Babe. My love. My love. Babe. This guy is crazy. I'm a play over myself. Nah, I don't like this. Why should I hit white on black? Let me hit black on white. Eric called. His wife um, put to bed. Dancing baby boy. Wow. Big congratulations to them. Hmm. Congratulations indeed. Uh, speaking of which, um, Bernard called to find out if we're going to be attending his child dedication. The triplets now. Well, yeah, his wife never mentioned it to me. So? You already know
Hey, bro. Hey, bro. What's up? I did. I found out. I did. Uh, the stuff we discussed about. What's up? What stuff? The spam donation. Oh. <laughs> No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Anytime you want it, I'm. Uh, <laughs> it's family. I'm. I'm good. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, so when are you arranging for it? I mean, like, when are you arranging your wife for us to meet? For it? I don't understand. What, what do you mean, arrange my wife? Uh, what we discussed, of course. Like me, your wife. Do the thing. You're not serious. No, I'm actually serious. Bro, I've lived for the past ten years plus thereabouts in Europe. I know how these things are done. Look, for me, civilization is all about, you know, experimental, too many machines here and there. But I'm talking about being natural, because we're discussing tradition here. I would not run a situation where we just go to the hospital, the doctors will be playing with my genitals, playing with the wife's genitals, I don't even know what they want to do, how they want to do it. I don't want none of that. For family, we should be supporting each other, so I want to do it for you. But it just has to be natural. I'm here, why, why, why do we need to, why do we need to donate? Whatever you call it, I'm here to donate, but not to extract. Come on, I can So, Paulo. Yeah? If I agree to give you my wife, you will sleep with her. Sure, why not? You agreed, right? It's consensual, right? It's for you. I mean, I, I, I'm not planning on having a kid right now, so it is for you. So, who? Get out of my house. <laughs> no, 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 that's not, that's not, that's I, not. I, I, I mean what I'm saying. Just find your way and leave my house. I don't care where you go to. No, since your disrespect, I've gotten to this place. Are you okay? You want to sleep with my wife? I'm doing it for you, bro. I'm doing it for you. You're serious? Do, um, do not let me come down and meet you here. Just leave my house. Anywhere you want to go, to go to. If I come down and see you, you will not like me. You, you, you want to sleep with my wife. A thunder will fire you. Ha. No, don't, don't allow me to come down and meet you. Jones! Ha. Nonsense. Look at you, I'm just... I'm even trying to be of help and... and oh, you want the doctor to come and... Okay. That's fine. You want me to go? I will go. But no doctor is playing with my stuff. I'm gonna do it natural if you want me to do it. Baby, where is Polo? He left. So where? And when is he coming back? He's not coming back. What? I sent him out. <laughs> You're joking, right? Why would you send out your brother? Can you imagine? I asked my brother to donate his sperm for us, for you, for the IUI. Mm -hmm. And guess what he said? That why would he do that? Rather, he would prefer to do it the natural way, to sleep with you, my own wife. He really said that? Yes, he did. I don't blame him. But, but baby, I still think you should know your brother better. He's a very playful person. I'm sure he did not mean it the way you're taking uh, it. Yeah, I thought he didn't mean it as well. Until he said it the second time and the third time. So yeah, he's dead serious about it. He wants to sleep with my own wife. I don't blame him, he's mad. Let me see him here again. My love, you do know we are the only ones he knows in this town, right? I don't care. I don't care, he can go and stay wherever he likes. I don't care. 
He wants to sleep with my wife. It, it, it's, it's the audacity for me. Let me see him here again. No, I should have left him at the airport. Baby, are you mad at me too? Why should I be mad at you? I'm not mad at you. Oh, you're actually so like it. Oh. Babe. Honestly, bro. I'm done. Okay, I've had it up to here. I'm done. I'm done. If someone should hear you talking, man, they would think uh, the person is at fault. Meanwhile, you are the one at fault. Bro, I'm not saying I'm innocent. But Jessica is not a saint herself. Are you sure? Are you sure about what you're saying? Bro, the only thing I'm sure about is that divorce is the only answer right now. The marriage is clearly not working. Then try harder. <sighs> try harder, bro. Marriage is not easy for any of us. It's not. Unfortunately, my mind is made up. There's no going back from this, man. Fine. If you say so. I do. But take my advice as your friend. Go and sort things out with your wife. One last time. Make it work. Whatever, man. Okay, let's talk about something else, please. I was going to ask, how far work? What's going on? So far, so good. Do you think you should have called your brother to know where he's been all this while? Why? Oh, why should I call him? I told him I'm not going to do that. I blocked his number and I've deleted it. Simple. But my love, that's a little too harsh. He's still your family. What's going on? Why the sudden care? All of a sudden. <sighs> Wait. Are you not sure in his idea? What? Is that what this is? Oh. You're beginning to think about it. You're not sure in the idea of him sleeping with you. My own brother. Really? What are you talking about? It's obvious. No, it's obvious. That's why you're campaigning for me to bring him back. Oh my goodness. You want to sleep with... Is this how desperate you need a child? Babe, stop it! Is this, is this it? Shame. Babe! Babe, you're overreacting! You should bring him back. Oh my goodness. Baby, I'm sorry for everything. I know that I've treated you in an abhorrent manner. But truth is, I was misled by prophecy. Prophecy? Yeah, my mom took me to this prophet who told me that you were not God's desire for me. We had been going for counseling and after much fasting and prayer, he said that God had not chosen you as the person, as a woman I was to spend the rest of my life with. I, honestly, I, I didn't know what to do at the time because you were already pregnant. But I just knew that I couldn't leave you because I didn't want my kid to grow up without a father. Out of all 
all this while you knew about this and you never opened up to me? Jessica, I wanted to stay with you. I decided to stick it out with you no matter what happened. After I came, I was born. I decided to stay. I mean, I didn't see what could possibly be wrong with living with a woman I genuinely love. But you cannot died. And I was broken. And I started to tell myself that maybe, maybe the prophet was right. Maybe this wasn't God's divine plan. I just figured that maybe if I was mean and vicious to you all the time, it would, it would end our relationship faster. And Eric, you believed them. You believed them after everything. We went through. Baby, I'm sorry. I was looking for spiritual guidance. Oh, my God. Spiritual guidance. So you... You believed all the prophets and all the churches and all of that instead of seeking for God's consent on your own? I made a mistake, baby. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to say. What, don't go, don't leave. Where, where are you going? Listen, there is nothing for us to sort out. The only thing that was our solid bond between us is gone. Baby, listen, I know that we have lost the kidna, okay? And as heartbreaking as that is, it has happened, but we can have other children. No! Never again. We are not going to have a chair. Never. Babe. <sighs> baby. Baby, I'm begging you. Baby, don't do this. Baby, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you, baby. Please now. Please. Please. Just, just. Let go. I should let go. Eric, I should let go. Please. Look at this. Look at this. Over there, over there. Watch, watch. Look. Oh, don't cry. Okay, you have to go down. Okay, you have to go down. Okay, come on. What do you want to go down? You have to go down. What do you want? You want to play? You want to play? You want to play? Come here! Come here! Come give me a hug! Come, 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 come! Come! Come here! Come here. <laughs> sorry, 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 see, see, see. Hello, BC. Hi. <laughs> How are you? My dear, we're fine too. We're fine. The baby. Please don't mind him. He likes to disturb a lot. <laughs> okay, you know what? Get something very special for the nursing mother, okay? On your way branching. All right. I'll be waiting. Okay.
I know it was my carelessness. I know it was my carelessness that made him drink the chemicals. But it wasn't intentional. As no mother could possibly take her own child's life for any reason. So I'm sorry too. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Eric. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh. Together you oh, and I we Cause we are partners in this We don't need to fight each you other. and I We just need to work Hold together. my hand and we will win Guy, Baba, sit down, sit down. Eh? Sit down, talk to me. What's going on? Sit, drink now. Bro, I'm done. I am done with my wife. I need a divorce. Okay. What makes you say so? I saw my wife with my stupid brother in a compromised position, discussing and laughing. I'm done. And this is enough reason for you to file for a divorce? You don't see what I see. I know what I see. Ever since my brother offered to sleep with my wife, she's just been acting somehow. I, I, I don't know what entered her head. It's okay. It's okay. So why don't you just talk to her? Find out what it is they are discussing if it bothers you so much. I don't even care anymore. I don't care. At this point, I don't care. Mm. She wants a child so badly. I get it. And that's making her tilt towards my brother. They can go ahead. Let them go ahead. I need a divorce. I'm done. Easy now. Easy. Easy. Take it easy. Hmm? Bro. About easy. Look at that. Hey, my love. <laughs> you need to see this. <laughs> These guys are crazy. <laughs> How's it? You slept with my brother. What did you gain? What? You do realize this joke is very rude, oh, right? Oh, please stop the pretense. I saw the two of you. You slept with my brother. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this. So just because you saw me with your brother implies I slept with him? What kind of disrespect is that? Have I ever cheated on you? That's it. That's it. That's how they pretend. So because you were desperately in need of a child, you brought yourself very low to sleep with my own brother. My own brother! You are just a dirty cheap slut. Don't even dare. Go upstairs, pack your things, and leave this house. Do, do not make me repeat myself. Go up there, pack your things, and leave this house. <gasps> what, was, what was that?
Jessica, you will not understand. Jones opened his mouth to say our marriage is over. Yes. He even called me a cheap and dirty slut. Me. Me busy. Oh, should I shock you even more? He attempted to lay his hands on me. <laughs> ah, busy. I can't believe this is my now reality. I, I, I can't process this. And what are you doing here? I'm begging you, please. I invited him because, I mean, you literally cannot shave a man's head in his absence. He needs to be here to at least defend himself. Huh? Please, please, sit. Please. So what exactly happened here though? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, Polo. You've got to be kidding me. Uh -uh, uh -uh. You mean all this while? You've been pranking your brother? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and he's out there boiling in anger. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know. Nah, nah, you know, it's normal for both of us, you know. It's quite normal because, um, I mean, these are the things we do for each other. I don't know why you took this very personal. As a matter of fact, I was flagabasted when he asked me to leave the house. You know, I, don't, I, I felt he was joking and then all of a sudden, he was so serious. I'm sorry. Yeah, and when you asked me to come over, mm -hmm. I thought he was going to be waiting for me with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. You know, I, I still can't believe this. I mean, how? What? Yeah. You made that look so real, you know that? Yeah, you know. It was, I, I couldn't have imagined you were pranking him. I should consider. Legit, it was. What? I should consider acting properly. You should! Oh, damn. For real, you're gonna win an Oscar. Oh, damn. Straight up! Oh, damn. Oh, damn. I'm gonna do that because you know what? That cool of Europe, I'm not returning. Nollywood is gonna need me. Straight up. <laughs> I'm gonna be a fan. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> you you're know, sure. but um but uh -huh. Polo. Uh -huh. <sighs> the big elephant in the room is how on the surface of this earth are you gonna convince your brother that you've been pranking him all along. Nah, that's not a problem. He's my brother. I mean, he'll get around. He'll get around. That angry brother Yeah, has... nah, 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 nah. We do these things all the time. So I don't, when it is time for me to get, you know, to get close to him, I know what to do. However, mm -hmm. the good news is, I spoke to a friend of mine in the UK. Okay. And, you know, I explained my brother's situation to him and that's, and he said that it's not really much of a big deal. Yes. <laughs> he's going to have, uh, he's asking that he's going to have an operation. Okay. Or like a surgical operation. Mm -hmm. That will correct the anomalies. And there's 98% chances that he's going to be fed out again. Wait! For real? That's true. Wait, no, no. You're nah, not copying. Nah, 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 I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not joking this time. Wait! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. It's fine. My goodness. That's an excellent relief. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you so much. The bad news is that Polo is not going to get what he wants. Look at you. Look at you. You're paying too much. Hello. 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 Look, um, I'm sorry. 
I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that I got us all here. I mean, I only reached out to your wife because I've been calling you and you're not taking your calls. I, I went. I wanted to let her know that it was all a prank. I, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean what I said that I, that I want to sleep with your wife. A prank. Polo, you prank me with something this serious? What if the surgery doesn't work? No, 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 no. It's, it's going to work. But if it doesn't, yeah, I'll donate this one. See? This is why I've always said that you need to be patient. <laughs> Be patient and listen to what your wife has to say. You are our first. You see what your stupid prank has cost? Pray she forgives me. Don't. Please. Do not even try. Don't. You wanted a divorce, right? That you shall get. Because I am a cheap and dirty slut. No, 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 babe, babe. <laughs> babe, I am so sorry. Okay, please. <laughs> Forgive me, I acted stupidly and irresponsibly. I, <laughs> I am really sorry about that. I love you. And I miss you so much. Please forgive me. You see, please forgive him. For all of us, please. Please, you see. There's an extra room here, you know. There is more to this life than meets the eye. If it is love, then we must trust each other. 